it's been a while since we've done a video. It seemed like a lot of the views on uh, camp rentals and stuff like that were kind of dropping. So, and we were really busy. It's been a really busy summer with uh, pickups and deliveries and Damien starting college and all that stuff. So, we just took a break for a couple months. Figure we'll wait till we get closer to transport season and uh, kind of start back up again. But we're into September now. Um, as you see, we got the flatbed pulled off, got the box put back on the truck. I've got the flatbed sold already. That's already at its new home. Um, and we started doing some calling around with, uh, I was calling dispatchers at some of the transport companies. I wasn't really talking to recruiters. Figured I'd probably get a little bit truer story, I suppose. Um, so we kind of went with that route. But. So with that, I don't know, from what the dispatchers all said, um, there was kind of a consensus between all of them. Uh, single poles is just really light right now. Uh, a lot of guys sit like a week, a week at a time waiting for a load. Um, some guys aren't getting any loads because they're you know picky on where they go. Um, so that just kind of all depends on everybody's style, where they want to go, what they want to do, on how they're going to limit themselves on loads. But talk to some viewers as well. Um, right now we have the Clay County Fair going on, so. I'm actually picking one camper up from there right now. Um, we got a lot of them that are there for like the whole fair for the whole 10 days, but this one and a couple more that came home this morning, um, they're just staying for a few days. But while we're at the fair, there's quite a few dealers there, so it's a good time to kind of talk to all of them a little bit, see what they what they think and how the sales are going and whatnot. But um, the dealership we work with the most, we've picked up a few campers for him already when we've gone out there. We've seen a lot of yards are either completely full or completely empty. And kind of what I've heard from between the dealers and dispatchers and all that is a lot of the units, the factories built to try and get ahead, which their you know, sales are slowing down. So dealers aren't taking them or dealers canceled uh, some orders um, or just ones that the dealers don't want yet because their lots are full. So there's, there's a lot of reasons that some of the campers are just sitting there. Um, and a lot of the dealers we talked to as well have canceled a lot of theirs too. Um, or just, they didn't get their whole order because, you know, in the last year everything was crazy. So lead times were really long. So they're getting into the 2023 model year and getting ready to put in orders for all those and just canceled the remainder of their 2022 order. Um, so that was a lot of it. Well, plus a lot of them too is, you know, they needed say 100 units so they ordered 200 knowing they're not going to get them all so that was a large part of it as well but um but the dispatchers pretty much everything i was told from them is yeah single pulse is going to be really slow um multi-haul um they're pushing more for hauling cars or any kind of freight you could find but camper wise coming out of indiana sounds like it was going to be pretty slow as well so <coughs> So we kind of changed our thoughts for this year. We're still going to run for the dealer that we've been running for for the last two years, but that's just probably going to be on weekends. Oops. Turn my CB off, static. Um, we're still going to pull for him. Like I said, we've pulled, grabbed a couple for him already. He's got one sitting in a storage yard out there that he doesn't want, uh, want yet. Uh, there was one unit we were supposed to get this last week. Um, it was for the fair, but it never got built well it was built but there's electrical problems with it so it didn't clear um pdi in time to get shipped out so but he said that the fair's doing really well um they sold one camp right off the bat on the first day right away in the morning and then by the end of the day they had six credit apps out so out of the 18 trailers he's got he's got potentially seven of them sold within the first day um so that's good news there but he said at the dealership itself, um, the last couple months, they might go a week, two weeks without selling a camper, and then all of a sudden they'll sell a whole bunch. So he said the sales are just kind of abnormal right now. Um, some people are just kind of holding back, not sure what the economy is going to do. You know, same story that's been going on for the last month, two months with everything and everybody. So, um, so we decided we are not going to sign on with the company this year. Uh, me or Courtney. Um, so I signed on with a local company that uh, I'll be like a company driver, so I won't even be using the Western Star um, or my pickup. So 
for what he pays, I figured it was pretty stupid to run my own truck, um, hauling seed from Marcus out to Michigan. So, and you load it, you're uh, out there loaded, come back empty, and you're paid both ways. So, and like I said, what that's paying, it made absolutely no sense to stick money into the Western Star, and it makes no sense in getting back into RV transport. Um, it's kind of the same deal with, uh, I gotta decide when I go. Um, so you still get the freedom of that. And it actually runs from October to April, so, which is pretty much our, you know, down season. We got a few reservations for August, um, not a lot, but reservations are going through August, so we'll kind of have to see what temperatures are doing too. We don't want campers setting out when it's, you know, 20 degrees or colder, lines will start freezing up, so. Um, that actually works out perfect for us for timing wise. So by the time he's done hauling seed, um, we'll be going right back to camper rental season again. So that is kind of what we vouched to do this year. Um, I've been still keeping in touch and I probably still will over the winter. Just seeing how the markets are looking for campers and stuff. It's going to also kind of make our decision on whether we're going to grow anymore or not. Um, with Damien starting college, we're losing the driver. So nine campers and we're only going to have two drivers next year. Just me and Courtney. So, well, then my dad fills in and stuff like that too, but we're not really sure. We're just going to kind of see what this winter does before we make any decisions. But campers are definitely slowing way down. Um, I know I've seen a couple of videos, um, more like TV shows, I guess, um, with the uh, CEOs or management of some of these companies, and they're talking about how it's still going strong and stuff. And my honest opinion is, I think that's what they're trying to say to try and push people to keep buying, make them think that nothing's slowing down, but things are clearly slowing down. Um, we got our new insurance, well, we haven't got it yet, but our insurance from talking to our adjuster and stuff like that our insurance will be going up again too so i don't know how that is across the board from everyone but we're getting like a I think it was like a 7.5 percent increase or something like that or 6.5 but costs are going up rates aren't really going up with campers from what i've been seeing from what i've talked to the dispatchers too it's not like the rates have kind of dropped a little bit for a majority of the companies not a lot but i've dropped a little bit So like I said, with the rates dropping and uh, fuel prices aren't really coming down and whatnot, like I said, we were, we're not gonna run the Western Star this year. Um, so I actually, I think I'm gonna list it for sale. Um, I actually have listed it for sale, but I've had, I think I got three guys right now that um, are all planning on coming to look at it. Um, I have one guy that's just been bugging me for about the last two weeks about it, but I think it's just more tire kicker or whatnot, but so yeah, we decided not to stick any money into it. We're gonna sell it. Um, maybe we'll use the money from selling this and buy another rental camper. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know 100% what we're gonna do yet. We're not. We want to kind of feel out this winter and see what the what the market's looking like. Rental seems to be still going strong, so camper sales might not really affect us a whole lot on what that kind of I guess you want to call it vacation market or whatever you want to call it. I guess so. Rentals is probably going to be a whole different ball game than what sales is going to be, but we've got uh, a lot of um, like family reunions and stuff that are taking all the campers for a week at a time. So July is actually half booked already for next year, and we got August filling up pretty fast for next year already too. So, um, but the fair, the fair went well. Um, the fair's over with now. It's a couple days after I started this video. Um, it sounded like sales went really well at the fair. We actually have one that we're gonna take down to North Carolina. We're leaving here in a couple days. Um, it's a sold unit. So we're gonna take that down to North Carolina and then pick up the one camper that I had said that he had in the storage yard in Indiana. So we're gonna run down to North Carolina, drop that one off, shoot back up to Indiana and grab that one. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think we're just gonna run for the dealers that we have signed on with just under our numbers. We're not going to lease either one of our trucks on with another company. Um, just fill this year out and see where it goes. But 
I don't think I would get into RV transporting right now, um, just because it's slow. But like, everyone's got different, you know, reasonings. If it's like a retirement job, you want to travel, you know, that's one thing. But if you're gonna be trying to make a living on it, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably just be cautious or do a lot of homework and research um, before you get signed on with the company. Um, have your numbers figured out. Know where you need to be. Um, everyone's finances are different. So that's just my opinion, my two cents. Um, everything, is, you know, the market goes up and down all the time. So it, it's going to come back at some point. Um, but just right now, it's kind of on a downwards. Um, but that's not saying, in, you know, by next spring, things really pick up again. and doesn't really lose any steam. But um, with the sales and the ordering and how everything was the last two, three years, everyone knew it was going to slow down at some point. But everyone was getting into it, you know. Get after it while it's while it's good, but you gotta save up too for when it slows down, which it's slowing down now. Um, see a lot of guys on some of these Facebook forums and saying everyone's idiots because nothing's slowing down, this, that, and blah, blah. Well, everyone's situation is different. Someone might have better contracts than somebody, you know. So it is what it is. But my my two cents is I would probably put a lot of consideration and research into it before before you get into it. See a lot of guys still getting into it, but I'm starting to see a lot of stuff coming up for sale on uh, the RV transporters forums and pages and stuff. People selling their trucks or itches, equipment and whatnot. So um, that's why this year we're just gonna stick with our two dealers, and then I'm gonna drive semi for a local company, like I said, hauling grain. So um, yeah, I think that's gonna be all I got for this one. I just kind of want to talk about the markets a little bit, kind of what we're seeing. I know it's not the same all the way across the country. Um, some places are still doing good. Some places are slowing down. We're seeing that with the RV rentals as well. We've seen people in kind of different areas of the U.S. where they have said it like literally came to a complete halt and they've had no rentals. And us, we've been busier than ever. So like I said, everything's different in different parts of the U.S. Things slow down and speed up at different paces, different areas. So, But that's my two cents. If you're going to get into it, really do your homework, do your research, do your due diligence and see if it's gonna work for you. But like I said, we're getting ready to head to South Carolina, or no, North Carolina. So I'm gonna get, uh, took the bed out of the truck a while back, put the back seats back in. So I'm gonna get another platform built in there so we can sleep, um, just a little temporary one. I don't see us doing these long hauls very often, but I'm just gonna make a little easy platform I can just throw in over the top of the base of the seat and then pull it out later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head out here Monday morning and hopefully be back by Thursday sometime, Thursday night possibly. Because then we have a little camping trip of our own. We're gonna go to a local campground and they do a Halloween um, deal where we decorate the campers for Halloween. They have kids come through the campground and do trick or treating and stuff. So we actually have two of those, two weekends in a row. So this is like, this is about the only time we get to go camping. So we haven't done this Halloween thing for a while, the trick or treating. So we'll see what we can do. Make a little haunted house or something between campers would be me and Courtney and Damien and his girlfriend are going to have a camper there. My parents are going to have a camper there. So we'll get all three of them all tied together and make one little haunted house area or something. We're not really sure what we're doing. We just, we just wing it as we go. But so I think that'll end this one. And we'll probably uh, see you guys on the road to North Carolina.